My name is Xu Guang Wang. I'm an associate professor at the School of Meteorology. I'm currently teaching two classes. The first one is the senior undergraduate level atmospheric dynamics class. So in my class, I try to provide a very detailed explanation about the mathematical equations to help the students to understand the relationship between math and the dynamics. So to me, it's very delight to observe the students become very confident about math and dynamics at the end of the class. I also offer a senior graduate level data simulation class. It's actually a new class that I developed when I joined University of Oklahoma. So over the last several decades, data simulation has become a new sub-discipline in atmospheric science. So to answer the demand and also the growing need of atmospheric data simulation experts in research institute, government lab, and also private sectors, I decided to develop this new class and not only meteorology students, but also students from math department, from uh, civil engineering, from petroleum engineering, and from ecology department actually enrolled the class. So I actually was born and raised in uh, a beach city in the northeast part of China. The name of the city is called Dalian. And when I was a kid, I was very interested in math problem. So when I was in high school, I was admitted into a class with special training on math. So after my high school, I actually got admitted into Peking University in Beijing. And my major was atmospheric science. When I was in my sophomore year, I decided to pursue a research career for my future. And in the same year, I also decided to actually pursue my graduate study in the United States. After I got my bachelor degree in atmospheric science from Peking University, I traveled all the way from China to the other side of the world. I got uh, admitted by the meteorology program from the Pennsylvania State University. So there, I met my graduate advisor, Craig Bishop, and he brought me to the field of data simulation. Actually, at that time, there are very few students doing research about data simulation and choose data simulation as their PhD topic. So I decided to pursue data simulation for my PhD dissertation. This turned out to be a very good decision that I made at that time. Since I graduated, I observed data simulation field evolve very quickly, and this field has become blooming over the years. In terms of research, I'm currently directing a, a research lab at the University of Oklahoma, and uh, performing research on data simulation and predictability for a variety of atmospheric phenomena and a variety of scales. So we call our lab as MAP, M-A-P, standing for multi-scale data simulation and predictability. The MAP lab right now has 14 members, one research scientist, six postdocs, six graduate students. We're still growing with new members coming soon. And so far I have advised 12 postdocs, 11 PhD students, eight master students at OU. I also mentored three international students. So our students have been very productive they have won 19 awards so far, including the most prestigious OU Provost PhD Dissertation Award for the entire Science and Engineering category, the AMS Fellowship, the School of Meteorology Best Student Publication Award, Best Student Performance Award, National uh, Conference Presentation Award, and also International National Conference Travel Award. So our lab has been conducting research in a very wide scope under data simulation and predictability. We develop new techniques and novel methodologies for data simulation and ensemble prediction. We applied these new techniques and methods for a variety of numerical variable prediction systems for including convective scales, hurricanes, and also global scales. We assimilate a variety of observations including radar, satellite, ground-based remote sensing platforms, aircraft observations, and in-situ observations. Our goal is to improve the numerical predictions of a variety of scales. We also use data simulation, modeling, and uh, ensemble prediction as tools to improve the understanding of the atmospheric pre predictability and dynamics, and also for a variety of scales, from storm scales to global scales. Another unique aspect of our app research is we are actually performing very active research at the interface between basic research and the U.S. National Weather Service operational and WP numerical variable predictions. So in other words, we are very excited about transitioning our research into the operations. 
In the area of data simulation algorithm and theory, we actually advanced the ensemble transform common filter theory. We also advanced the hybrid ensemble variational data simulation theory and algorithm. As I mentioned earlier, we are very interested in applying the new data simulation algorithms for a variety of numerical variable prediction systems. In terms of global data simulation and NWP, we actually participated and contributed the multi-institutional collaborative efforts on the development of the hybrid data simulation system based on the U.S. National Weather Service Operational Data Simulation System, GSI. And this collaborative effort led to the operational implementation of the hybrid data simulation system for the U.S. National Weather Service Global NWP System, the GFS, back in 2012 and 2014. We also conduct research to understand how and why the new data simulation system can improve the global and higher contract forecasts. So following the success of the implementation of the new hybrid data simulation system for the GFS, our lab, in collaboration with NOAA colleagues, further developed the fully cycled GSI hybrid data simulation system for the U.S. Operational Convention Line Hurricane Prediction System, the HWARF, Hurricane WARF. And this new system for HWARF became operational at National Weather Service since summer 2017, so it's influencing the U.S. operational numerical predictions of hurricanes. With the new hybrid data simulation system developed for HWARF, we are able to use it to address a variety of intriguing questions. For example, what are the impacts of the variety of new observations? For example, for Hurricane Patricia 2015, this is a well-known hurricane because of its record-breaking peak intensity, rapid intensification rate, and also the small size. So we are simulating a variety of observations to understand how these observations can uh, improve the prediction of the structure and also the rapid intensification of the Patricia. So we are also using data simulation as tools to understand the dynamics of hurricanes. For example, we participate in the tropical cycling intensity field campaign and we use the newly collected observations to understand how the outflow layer can influence the rapid intensification of, of hurricanes. So in addition, we're also doing very active research for convex scale data simulation for severe weather forecasts over the continental U.S. And uh, I'm here showing two major observation platforms which can sample convex scales with high temporal and spatial resolutions. On the left, it shows the ground-based radar. On the right, it shows the GO-16 satellite. So our goal here is to assimilate those observations so that we can improve the convex scale predictions. So I'm just here going to give you uh, several examples. And um, first, we developed a new radar data submission algorithm. And we implemented it into the U.S. National Weather Service GSI hybrid data simulation system. And we actually performed an experiment using the new algorithm for the prediction of the May 8, 2003 Oklahoma City tornado supercell case. So on the left, it shows animation of the tornado producing supercell. And uh, you can see the simulated tornado supercell is following the observed tornado track. And it also maintains a strong updraft and vorticity over the one hour forecast period. We are also implementing this new radar data symmetry algorithm to improve the convex scale prediction over the entire United States. And uh, we found our new radar reflectivity assimilation method is able to improve precipitation forecasts compared to the operational method like the cloud analysis. And this new radar data simulation system is expected to be adopted by the U.S. National Weather Service to improve the nation's operational convex scale numerical prediction. We are also using data simulation to understand the storm scale or mesoscale dynamics. For example, we participate in the pecan field campaign to understand the nocturnal convections. Using the newly collected observations and data simulation, we are trying to understand the nocturnal convection and also to improve the prediction of nocturnal convection. For example, I'm showing a case for nocturnal convection initiation, a bore case, and also a case where the bore and the convection are interacting with each other. In addition, we're also using data simulation as tools to understand the dynamics of the tornado supercell. 
with the new technology, I'm expecting there will be more and more advanced remote sensing platforms coming out. So one of our goals here is to study how to best assimilate those future observations. And to, we actually use a method called observation system assimilation experiment to study how to best assimilate the future multifunction phase array observations to improve the convex scale numerical prediction. In addition, we are also very interested in using data simulation to improve the understanding and to improve the prediction of the weather in the Arctic. In addition to data simulation, we are also working actively on ensemble prediction. There are several outstanding research questions we are trying to address in terms of uh, how to optimally design the ensemble to effectively sample the errors in the numerical forecast, how to generate, calibrate, and evaluate the probabilist forecasts. So our lab is also very interested in interdisciplinary research. For example, we collaborate with hydrological um, modeling experts, and we conduct hydrological data simulation. We are interested in applying machine learning and data mining to improve data simulation and ensemble prediction. We are also interested in understanding the economic value of a numerical variable prediction. So in addition to enjoying um, the um, research on data simulation and predictability, we also enjoy our daily life. So you can see everybody is now having a bigger smile, enjoying the beautiful weather through our fall outing activity. I do want to share uh, several advices to the students and earlier career scientists based on my personal experience and my experience advising students. I would encourage students to be curious, to be open-minded, and, and also to think positively. And we always welcome new members to join MAP. If you're interested in coming, Joining us, please feel free to contact me for opportunities.